Okay, so in the last video we looked at warp stabilizer and now that we have our clips stabilized, we're going to do um, a basic color correction. So like I said, I like to use After Effects for color correcting. Uh, there's um, a lot of different ways to do it, but this is the way that I find uh, is easy and is comfortable because uh, a lot of the um, adjustments are similar to what I'm used to in Photoshop, such as levels, curves, hue saturation, and unsharp mask, which we're going to be focusing on those. Um, and they react similar to the way uh, the Photoshop ones do. So uh, I like to apply all my effects to an adjustment layer in case I want to transfer that adjustment layer to multiple clips, uh, or if I want to kind of um, reduce the opacity to make it less uh, effective. Um, so to use an adjustment layer in After Effects, just go up to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, and then we're going to apply all those effects that I were talking about. So we'll search for Levels over in our Effects panel. We'll do a um, Hue Saturation right there. And then we'll, lastly, we'll do an Unsharp Mask. Okay. So now that we have these all applied to the adjustment layer, I'm going to start with the levels. And using levels, there's an old color correcting technique that works a lot of the time. Sometimes it doesn't, um, but we're going to see how it works on this clip. So the way, uh, in, it kind of doesn't make much sense at first, so bear with me. But we're going to go channel by channel. And if we select the red, you'll see this, um, see this mountain range right here. If you see, there's a lot of blank space right here. So what we want to do is grab this slider and just drag it to the end of so there's no blank space. And if you look over here at our clip, it looks pretty gross. But we're only a third of the way done. So then if we go to the green and we do the exact same thing, drag it to the very end, and then we go to the blue, this is where the clip will really reveal itself. And so we'll click this, we'll drag it to the very end, and then we'll click and see how this side there's some blank space right there so we're just gonna now if you look at that look it added a lot of contrast it took out that strange color cast and it's just a much better looking scene it much more, looks much more alive so uh, lastly I think it's a little bit dark so if we switch back to um, controlling all three at once and we you know brighten the scene a little bit and then uh, maybe crunch the blacks it's there already and it's just one effect it looks pretty good so then next I would um, maybe increase the saturation a little bit um, and then uh, increase the sharpness which uh, it's actually it's already set to 50 which I usually leave at so if you look at that we can toggle this adjustment layer off and already it I mean three steps and it looks really good so like I said one of the benefits of using an adjustment layer is I can click this and I can say command C for copy and I can go to this clip and uh, just paste and so if you check that out it looks pretty gross because this has a much different scenario but all I can do is go up to the levels click reset reset and then reset and then uh, I can do the same steps to this clip. So we go red, we bring this to the uh, end, go green to the end, and then finally blue to the end. And then I think it's a little bit dark, so I'd go back to controlling all three, you brighten that, and there you go. It looks pretty good. So sometimes this doesn't work, and if that doesn't work, um, I just it's it sometimes seems to work really good and sometimes it doesn't but if if it doesn't seem to be working for me then I'll probably go with the curves instead of the level so I'm going to delete that I'm going to go search for the curves adjustment bring that in and then I'll do just kind of a basic S curve that uh, is pretty common to just increase the contrast so uh, either way um, you know, between curves, levels, and then the hue saturation, I can do a pretty quick color correction that yields pretty good results. So I'm going to go to here and just, uh, I still have that adjustment layer saved in my clipboard, so I'm going to push Command D, and uh, I'm going to say reset on this levels and just uh, do the same thing. We'll see how this looks. So if you notice on this one, there we don't have a uh, true white point so you'll see there's space on this side too so that's um, what you want to do you want to make sure there's no space on either side so how's this look we'll see 
there you go. Look. Um, before, after. It just looks really good without really doing much. So definitely a cool effect without actually having to do much work. So um, what I'll do is I'll go through each clip and I will color correct each one and um, you know you don't have to see me do each one because it's kind of tedious but uh, this one I think is a perfect example of how easy it is and it just looks really good. So now what's cool is if we go back to Premiere, voila! Isn't that cool? It just it updates live and uh, it's not that painful. It's just so cool how Premiere and After Effects talk to each other. So, okay, uh, that's the end of the color correction uh, tips. And then next, I'm going to do some final uh, uh, edit points and then we will export.